Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's do the same for the cosine of x as we did for the sine of x. First we're going to find the integral of the cosine square of x. And we're going to use the same approach. We can write the cosine square of x is equal to 1 half times 1 plus the cosine of 2x to reduce the square down to a single exponent or to exponent equal to 1. So this can be written as the integral of, and we'll take the 1 half in front, times the quantity 1 plus the cosine of 2x times dx and then we're going to write this as two separate integrals this is equal to 1 half times the first integral will simply be dx and the second integral will be the cosine of 2x times dx now of course here we have the cosine of 2x so the proper differential would be a 2 dx which means we need to multiply this times 2 and of course divide by 2 so we don't change anything and now we can go ahead and integrate both integrals so this is equal to 1 half times integral of dx which is x plus 1 half times 1 half which is 1 quarter times the integral of the cosine of 2x which becomes the sine of 2x plus a constant integration now when you look at an integral table, you will probably not see this as the answer to that integral because they don't like to keep it in terms of a double angle. What they would like to do instead is replace this by something as a single angle. They're going to use the identity where the sine of 2x is equal to 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. When we use that identity, then this can be written as 1 half x plus 2 times 1 quarter is 1 half times the sine of x, cosine of x, plus a constant of integration. And that will typically be the way you'll find the result of the integral of the cosine square of x. And that's how it's done.